Hi everyone, in this video I'll be installing Elementary OS in a dual boot setup with Windows without using a USB drive or DVD. Elementary OS is a Linux distribution with a gentle learning curve that looks very similar to Mac OS. The recommended system requirements are very reasonable. A recent Intel Core i3 or comparable dual core 64-bit processor, 4 gigs of RAM, SSD with at least 32 gigs of free space, internet access, mouse and keyboard, and the 1024 by 768 minimum resolution display. So I'm going to go and download it, go to elementary.io, it says here pay what you can, 10, 20, 30, or put in a custom, and if you put in zero, and you can just download elementary OS. Once downloaded, go into your downloads folder, select the iOS image, hit enter or right click and mount open and this will mount it to a virtual drive it's going to be on the d drive and then now open up disk management and so on disk management i have my c drive here and there's my d drive that has been mounted and i'm going to shrink my c drive to make room for elementary os and for the iso and i have here 426 gigabytes free so more than enough free space so i'm going to shrink and I'm going to have 100 gigs for elementary OS and about 3 gigabytes for the ISO. So 103, 200, shrink. All right, and there's my unallocated space. I'm going to right click, new simple volume, next. And this will be 3200, and this will be for the partition for the installation media itself. Next. Sign the drive letter next. I'm going to call it elim underscore ISO. And the file system will be FAT32. Next, finish. I'm going to go back into Explorer. And then my D drive. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to copy. Go into my new F drive. Paste. All right, it's completed. Going back into disk management and the F drive, your BIOS should be able to boot directly from this partition. But if not, it may be because it needs to be recognized as an EFI system partition. So that can be changed by going into disk part, start disk part, run as admin. Yes, list my disk and it's gonna be disk zero. List my partitions the 3200 megabyte partition, partition number five. I'm gonna select it, type in help set ID, and type in set ID equals, and scroll up, and look for the EFI system partition value in hex. I'm gonna copy, paste, enter. All right, so it's been successfully set, and going to disk management, we see it has been changed. And now I'm going to reboot my computer and go into the BIOS. In your BIOS, ensure that secure boot is disabled. And if you have fast boot, disable it as well. And now I'm going to do a one-time boot into the installation media partition. And it's labeled as UFI OS. And how I can confirm that, if I go back into Windows, open up a command prompt as admin, type in bcd edit space forward slash enum space firmware, and we can see at the bottom there, partition F, which is the F drive that was created, and the description, UFI OS. So I'm gonna select it. We see that it's booted the partition, and we see try or install elementary OS. And the second option is with save graphics, if the default option doesn't work. And then there's advanced options. So I'm gonna select the first option, the default, try or install elementary OS. All right, it started up and we got the language selection screen. Select, and I'm selecting US, and then my keyboard, select, the layout, default, select. Now I'm gonna be doing a custom install advanced, and when you do go to custom install advanced, when you go to custom install, you don't see your drive come up here, and the reason is because of where the installation media is mounted, so to fix that, I'm going to open up a terminal, hit Control-Alt plus F1, you're going to get a terminal, 
and to log in type in elementary and you're logged in. I'll need to see where the installation media is being mounted, so I'll use DF, which is actually used to see the amount of free space available on your system, but it'll serve its purpose here. All right, I see here that it's dev SDA4 and it's mounted on slash CD-ROM. So I'll need to unmount it. sudo umount-l slash CD-ROM. Type in DF again. And we see it's no longer there. So going back, control alt F7. And I'm gonna go back and go to custom install. And I see my disk comes up, so that's good. And now I'm gonna to go to modify partitions. And this opens up Gparted, so I can allocate my free space. By default, when dual booting, it's common to use the same EFI partition as Windows for the elementary OS boot files but this can be an issue. Microsoft is known for removing anything not related to Windows in this partition, which would include elementary OS. And this can happen, for example, after a Windows update. So to avoid this, I'll be creating a separate EFI partition just for elementary OS. So selecting my unallocated space, right click, new, and I'm gonna use 512 megabytes for the EFI partition for elementary OS and the file system will be FAT32. And I'll label it as Elam EFI, add. Going back to my unallocated space, right click, new. I'm gonna create a swap partition. I have 12 gigs of RAM on my system here, so I'm gonna put 12 gigs. Label it as Elam swap, and the file system Linux swap, add, going back to the unallocated space, right click new, and we're gonna use the rest of the space for slash. So file system ext4, and I'll call it elam boot, add. All right, so there are my three partitions. Hit the check mark to apply, apply. All right, it's done. Hit close, close gparted. And I did a rescan, and we can see that my new partitions are there. SDA6, 7, and 8. So going to SDA6, if you're not sure, you can just hover over it and it'll show. Select, use partition, format it, and then go to the next partition, SDA7, select it, use, when we has swap. And then finally, my last partition, Use, it's gonna be root, file system ext4, format, okay. And then go to hit next. All right, and here it's asking if you want to include third-party proprietary drivers when installing. For example, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, as it's gonna install NVIDIA graphics drivers, I'm gonna select. And before hitting erase and install, I'm gonna go back into my terminal, control alt plus F1, and I'll need to remount the installation media. Type in DF. And we see at the bottom that's been remounted, so that's good. So going back, Control Alt F7, erase and install. And at the bottom right, select it, and it'll show the log. And then you can select it again to hide it. All right, it has been installed, and now I'm going to restart. It should boot directly into elementary OS, but to confirm, I'm gonna restart and go into the BIOS. So in my boot order, I see the Windows Boot Manager is first, UFI OS is second, and three is Ubuntu, as elementary OS is based off of Ubuntu, so I'll need to have Ubuntu as boot option number one. All right, it's been changed. Now I'm gonna save changes and exit. All right, we see Grub comes up and there's Elementary OS and there's the Windows Boot Manager. So going to go into Elementary OS. All right, and you're gonna see these next few screens again. Select, select, select. And here I'm gonna fill in my details, name, username, password, and device name. And then finish setup. 
login screen comes up, put in your password. All right, the welcome screen comes up and if this is your first time, you can go through it, next. And it's asking you for your luck, next. Nightlight, next. And any housekeeping, next. Online accounts, next. Got some apps, next. Automatic updates, next. And ready to go, get started. And I'm gonna reboot to confirm I can get back into Windows. All right, the Grub bootloader comes up. I'm gonna select Windows, log in. I'm going to open up Disk Management. So I no longer need the installation media. I'm going to remove it in Disk Part. Open up Disk Part as Admin. This is my disk. Select Disk Zero. This is my partitions. And it's partition number four, the 3200 megabyte partition. I'm going to delete partition override. Going back into disk management, and we see it's been removed, and I'm going to extend my C drive. Next, next, finish. And that's it. That's how you can install Elementary OS in a Duo Boot setup with Windows without using a USB drive or DVD. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.